Hi friends, I am Jitendra Bafna. Today we will going to see how to invoke a Java custom function, the custom built Java function in your data wave transformation. Okay, so we will start directly with the demo. So I will say file new mule project. I will say I will give a project name. So for project name I will say invoke. Java transform application. Okay. At the runtime, I will keep 3.8.3 only. In your environment, there can be a multiple runtime. You can choose depending on your requirement. Like it can be 3.6, it can be 3.7. So you can choose anything. Okay. Uh, other thing, I will not going to ch change any other settings. I will simply click next, next. I will say finish. Okay. So first thing. As usual, I will going to drag and drop HTTP listener. I will going to configure it. So you go to connector configuration. Click on this add button. I will keep all setting as a default. I will say OK. Under path, I will say Java. Allow method, I will say post. Fine. Next thing, I want to write one Java function. So always make sure you write a Java function under source main Java. Right click new. First, I will say I want to create a package. I will say my app dot mule dot app. Say finish. Under that, I create one class new class. So I will say arithmetic operation. Okay, I will say finish. It has created a class for me. I will define one method which take two argument. Return the addition of the or sum of the two argument. I will say public. I will say return integer. Add two numbers. Now I will say in a comma in b. Fine. I will say return a plus b. Fine. This is my Java class. Now how I can invoke the Java class or in the transformation, I will drag and drop transform message into the processor region. I will go to configuration file. So at the top of the flow, you can do one thing. You can say configuration. You need to define this tag configuration doc name. I will say configuration. Let me close this. Under that, I will define expression language. Okay. Under that, I will say import. What do you want to import? A class. Which class we have defined just now. So for that, I will require a package name dot class name. So this is my package name. Okay. And I want my class name. Case name dot class name. This is the full name of my class. So I will okay. Now I have to say global function. I have to define a global function. So what I have to do? Define add numbers which take two argument a comma b and now say return new you have to use keyword new then say this okay make sure you have a this braces i will say dot now the function name the java function name it's keyword i will say okay i will copy this class function name or method name i will go to my xml file i will say and it take two argument a comma b Okay, I will say okay. This is how you have to call your Java custom Java function into the uh, you have to define into your configuration XML. See configuration expression language. You have to import a you know like your class name global function under global function. You have to you know create an object like that. Okay, and you have to call the method. 
Okay, save it. Now we will go to the transform message. So we will define our input. Our input will look like this. We will pass a two variable and it will return us a sum of the two variable. So let me define add. I will say input. I will say JSON example desktop. So some dot JSON. We take two input here. Two input integer a and b. Now what I have to I will change application slash this to I will say JSON. Now I will say sum. Okay. What I will let me copy the funds. This is this name. I will copy. I will go there under transformation. I will say and what I will say. Payload dot a comma payload dot b. Fine. Okay. So we have done our mapping. We have defined the Java functions. Everything. Now what I will do? I will set payload. I will say the sum of Two numbers. What is my two number? I will say JSON A and JSON B is has payload. Save my application. Once you save it, it will deploy the application for you again. Let's wait. Let me stop. Let me run the application. application has been deployed. Let me check everything is fine. Okay, so I will use Postman to test the application. I provide the URL. This is my method, and I use the post method. I will just send. So okay, fine, fine. So you can see some is fine. Okay, what? Okay, let me do one thing. I have done some mistake. I just want to print the payload because it's already converted into JSON format. So no need of that. So let me save it. I will say send. See, it give me a sum five. If I change it to twenty and thirty, it will give me a fifty. Like that, two thousand. I will say this, this. Okay, so it will be. It will return me a sum of the two number. So let I will show once again. So now suppose if you have one other class like new class. Okay, so. And I will give a class name as a string operation. Okay. Under that, I will define one method which is returning the string with hello world. Public string hello world function. I will say string. Okay. Let me make it. String. I will say name. Okay. So what I will say is return. Hello world. Plus name. I will save it. Okay. Now I will again go back to my configuration file. I will go to configuration XML. So where uh, instead of uh, this, uh, what I will do. I will copy this. I will change here. I will change here, but it's not add to number. Here I will say str o p r. Okay, fine. Str o p e r. This take one parameter that is name. Fine. Now I again go back there. So I will I will copy this. I will paste it. I will say take one parameter that is name. So string operation. It I forget to give a okay. I have to give a full name, full qualified name. Now save it. 
paste. Now other thing, what we will do this time, we will pass the parameter using query parent. So I will go to map. I will clear this payload. Now what I will do, I will have one variable. In this variable, what I will set name. Let's say message dot inbound dot http query parents dot name let's wait okay now i will go back to transform message okay in transform message i want to return a, okay so i want to return some message back to the Line. So I will say message. What is the message? Uh, let me go back to I have to use this function str opr. So again I will go back to transform message. I will say str opr. What is expect one parameter? I will say payload dot okay, instead of payload. What I will say provas dot name. Because this time we have stored the name into the flow bars. So I will change the method also. Instead of post, I will say get. Let me save it. Let me check if application has been deployed properly. Okay, there is some error. Let me check what is the error. Cannot find mule. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I have to save this. First, I have to stop the applications again. Then I have to enable it. Let's wait. Application is deployed. This time it has been deployed. Now I will change my method to get. It expecting one parameter that is name. I will say Jitendra Mafuna. Right? Send. See, we got hello world Jitendra Bhakna. So this is how you can invoke your Java custom build Java function in your data wave transformation. If you enjoyed my video, just subscribe to the video. Thanks for watching video.